Hi, everyone. This is your host, Kristen Howe, and I am so excited to welcome you to our call with today's guest, Jeff Geniak. Growing up in a small town in Canada as the son of a psychologist and social worker, Jeff has always displayed a passion for helping others. In fact, he was one of the youngest people in North America to be certified as a practitioner of neurolinguistic programming at the age of 15. Wow. Jeff is a clinical hypnotherapist, a master practitioner of neurolinguistic programming, and a recognized expert in goal achievement. Now, having created nearly 100 acclaimed meditation and brainwave programs, it's no surprise that Jeff is considered by today's top thought leaders as the leading creator and innovator of brainwave stimulation technology. Jeff has created several unique and proprietary technologies that continue to revolutionize the field of brainwave entrainment and personal development. And on today's call with Jeff, you will discover the art of transformational language and how you can use it to accelerate your ability to manifest your desires. You'll find out why focusing on just one area of your life actually slows down the manifestation process. You'll discover how new technological breakthroughs can help you listen and focus your heart energy to quickly transform your life. And you'll discover a simple and easy process for using the five frequencies of transformation to create a better life in just two weeks. So, Jeff, I can't wait for this call. Thank you so much for joining us and welcome. Uh, thank you, Kristen. I'm really happy to be here. I'm thrilled to have you here. I just love your energy. I love everything you do. And I would, uh, it would be great if you could take just a couple of minutes and, and give us a feeling for you and how you got here, as well as you know, maybe some of the major turnarounds in your life that have allowed you to manifest the success that you now are enjoying. Sure. Well, I was really lucky at a young age to be born to you know, a psychologist and a social worker because growing up, I had a lot of developmental delays in terms of education. I had, um, you know, I was pulled out for speech therapy during class. I couldn't take tests normally. Everybody was saying that I had all kinds of learning disabilities because it really looked like I did. And uh, it was a really painful and embarrassing time in grade school going through all that. But my parents were fantastic. I mean, they were really knowledgeable. Neuroscience was, you know, at its infancy, but using everything they knew they worked with me after school every single day, and they helped me to eventually pull it all together. It's like one day, it, everything just clicked, and all of a sudden, I didn't need speech therapy any longer. I didn't need to take special tests. I, didn't, I could read out loud in front of the class. I mean, all those things that caused me all this pain and anxiety and fear and embarrassment just went away. And it was at that time that I realized what I really wanted to do with my life because uh, I became aware, even though I was very young, I became aware that it was all this work with the mind, you know, that my parents took me through all this extra work that delivered me out of that really bad situation. So at a, at a really young age, it was just really instilled in me that I wanted to work with the brain, anything having to do with the mind to help other people that might be suffering with similar things. And throughout the years, I mean, I've had a lot of big turnarounds. It's actually brought me into more of a spiritual and energetic practice uh, combined with all that I've learned about the mind. And so really, those are the core concepts about, you know, where my personality comes from and why I do what I do today. I love that. And I love that it, this was just something that um, through because of how you lived and evolved, but at such a young age, you discovered this. I mean, that's just, that's really incredible. I mean, talk about someone finding their purpose early on, <laughs> right? Yeah, really lucky that way. Yeah, it's very, and so are we, because now we get to benefit from it. So let me ask you this, because in the beginning, I mentioned something called the five frequencies of transformation, and I'd love if you could explain what those are uh, to us, just because this, you know, this is some language that we may not have heard before, and it's, it's particularly exciting, especially in how it relates to our ability to manifest our desires. Yeah. Well, you know, the best way to think about these five frequencies is like this, and if your ability to manifest and create the life that you want to live was a recipe, imagine that for a moment. If it was a recipe, these five transformational frequencies are the main ingredients. And without them, the recipe just simply won't work. And even if you have all five in your life working, but they're not used in the right proportions, you know, maybe you have too much of one and too little of another, uh, the recipe won't turn out as you would like it to. 
And that's because each one of these frequencies has a unique and different purpose in the recipe of your life and what it is that you want to do with your life. And also, depending on what season of your life that you're in, the right balance of these frequencies will also be a little different. Now, the other important thing to know about these frequencies is that each of them has two components. Each one has a spiritual, if you will, type energetic vibration that also corresponds directly to a specific range of brain functioning. So the first component is energetic, and the second component is more physical as it pertains to how your brain works. So um, what I'd like to do probably is just tell you what these five frequencies are, and then I'll share with you how I use them with my clients to radically improve their lives and their ability to create and manifest. Yeah, that would be amazing. I would love that. (laughs) Okay, so the first one is happiness. It's a frequency of happiness. It exists in your brain, and it also is something that you can receive right, from the universal energies. And happiness is one of the most important ones. Without happiness, your ability to manifest and create what you desire is not going to go anywhere. And mm. if you have the lack of it, right, things not only stay still, they'll go backwards. This is very, very important. And we'll, go, we'll talk more about these as we go on. The second one is prosperity and abundance. Now, it's not money and gold. It's prosperity and abundance. It's a way of thinking. Uh, another way to look at it is creation frequencies. And these frequencies are so very important to our lives because without that creation energy, without that prosperity and abundance energy, it's really hard to make any kind of changes in our lives. And I know that most people that I talk to are all <laughs> wanting some kind of change or all moving towards some type of change. So this is really important energy. The third one is peace and harmony, energy, frequencies. And this is very important to the brain and also as a frequency that you can receive from the universal energy. Now, this one is a little bit different because it becomes typically more important in different areas, uh, different seasons of your life. People that are a little bit older tend to crave this and need it really for their ability to manifest and create the life they want more so they do when, than they do when they're in their 20s. Right? It, makes, it, you know, it makes sense if you really think about it. The fourth one is health and vitality. Another very important transformational frequency, a very important ingredient. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be in the most perfect health, but your brain has to be vibrating with these type of frequencies and you have to be able to receive them in your life. And the fifth one is love and enlightenment, which in many cases are a lot of the same thing. If you're enlightened, you have love. And a lot of people will talk about this in terms of Christ consciousness. That's one way I hear a lot of people talk about this particular set of frequencies. So one of the ways that I use these with my clients is to really, really transform their lives is to help balance them out. Like I said, the best way to look at these is almost like if they're a recipe, right? And you need all of them to create the life that you want to live. And you need them in in different balances in different times in your life. And when I first discovered this process and working with these five transformational frequencies was when I was creating a program called Goal Factory years ago. And I created this program because a lot of my clients started to fall into one category or another. It was either a category of they were just absolutely stuck. They felt like they were doing everything right in their life. And they had business coaches and, and the business coaches were scratching their head and going, like, it doesn't make sense. Why are you not moving? Right? Why are you stuck? Why is the life so messy? And the other category of clients were people that actually were able to achieve a lot of goals and were able to manifest quite a bit of stuff in their life. And some of them got really, really wealthy. I'm talking billionaires here. But then suddenly their life started to downward spiral and crash. Mm. And some of them just fell right into the abyss. And so I started studying these clients and looking for all the similarities, what was going on. And again, a lot of these people had business coaches and a lot of them, you know, were just left scratching their head. Why is nothing working or why is everything turning out so bad for these people? And so I started to look real deep what they were thinking and what they were doing 
in their lives. And what I found out is that they were really focused on one area of their life or another, and the rest were completely out of mind, right? They didn't, mm-hmm. they didn't spend any time with them. And so uh, this is an example. The person, uh, one particular client comes to mind, he became incredibly wealthy, achieved all his financial goals, but the reasons why he wanted those financial goals, he wasn't paying any attention to. See, because he wanted to create all this prosperity and abundance, you know, in terms of physical money and things, so he could spend more time with his family. So he could have all these happy moments with his family. You know, he, he ignored his health, right? He said, I'll worry about my health once I have the money, <laughs> right? And so right. what, ha- <laughs> what happened is that the harder he worked and moved to move towards this, the further he moved away from the reasons why he wanted them in the first place. And so what happens is that all this type of energy, the happiness energy, the health energy, he had no peace and harmony energy at all in his life. And he had very little of the love and enlightenment. And we can't survive very long in a nice way that we love and in a life that we can be proud of very long if we don't have the right balance of all these energies in our lives. And this is what I've discovered. And as a result, he went into self-sabotage. Everything started to unravel at the seams and he literally dropped into despair. And the very simple thing that I did is I gave him some really powerful technology to help his brain begin to vibrate in the frequency ranges of happiness. In other words, we're stimulating a little bit of beta and alpha which encourages, when, it's, when the brain is being stimulated that way, it encourages the brain to produce really good, feel-good chemicals. And I also started to get him to do activities, right? Say, okay, let, well, let's call your son. Let's plan a lunch. Well, I don't have time. Well, you know what? <laughs> you don't have time not to make time because right. things are getting worse, right? And as I started to get some of these activities engaged around happiness, things started to get better very quickly for him. And then we brought in some attention to health. And then we brought in peace and harmony. We started off with just five minutes of activity that brought in some peace and harmony into his life each day. That's not very much, but it was enough to stop the downward spiral. And then we went into love, really letting him bring in those energies, those vibrations, those frequencies of love. And everything turned around just like that. And so it's really all about looking at your life and figuring out which one of these you really want to bring up and make more powerful, more prominent in your life. Interesting. Okay. So does transformational language factor into this at all? It really does. Transformational language is the process of syncing up the words you speak with the frequencies of happiness, prosperity and abundance, peace and harmony, health and vitality and love and enlightenment. And you have to consider this. Each word that you speak is like a prayer. I mean, it's stronger than the thoughts in your head. Your thoughts in your head are really important, but once they become words, they have a stronger gravity, right? Then Mm. each word that you speak carries with it very specific vibrations that you put into it that attracts onto itself and the person that speaks those words. Here's a really great example of how this works. Almost without fail, every time I have a client that has chronic pain, for instance, They come in looking for help, and I ask them, what do you talk about all day? (laughs) Oftentimes they lie. (laughs) Sometimes I have to go in and, (laughs) you know, maybe they don't mean to lie, right? But you gotta, I gotta call up the husband or the wife, and I go, so tell me about what she talks about or what he talks about all day long. And what we find out is that the words that they're using are not carrying happiness, energy, peace, prosperity, health, and vitality energy. They're not carrying that energy at all. They they keep talking about their pain all day long. Maybe it's about how they don't want it anymore or what they can do to stop it, but it's constantly in their words, and those words carry pain energy that attracts Mm -hmm. upon itself. So transformational language is really about transforming your language and the intent behind the words that you use, right? So every day you think about the things that you say, you ask yourself, are these vibrating with happiness energy, with prosperity and abundance energy? Are they vibrating 
with peace and harmony energy? Are they in vibrating with love and enlightenment energy? And it's just a simple process that you think about. Right? And you change your language that way to really vibrate with that. You're going to attract those frequencies right, right to yourself. So what is one way that you suggest, because, you know, I'm just uh, knowing, knowing a lot of the emails that I get from our listeners that, you know, they get this, right? They get that what they put out there creates a vibration, and so that's what they attract. However, when your awareness has so shifted, you know how you were talking about the guy that, like, you know, went from a high to a serious low, when your energy has so shifted, and so it's like you have the momentum, you know, yanking you downhill, how do you... How do you consciously shift your focus within all of that to start vibrating positively again? Does that make sense? It, it certainly does. And I'm so happy you asked that question. And the answer is a question. Well, it's actually a series of questions. You know, one of the habits that everybody can get used to doing is asking questions to themselves. Hmm. And this is how you can begin to shift what it is you're focusing on and also the language, the words that come out of your mouth. Right. So instead of why does this always happen to me, what can I do to make it better? What is it that I can do to turn things around today? What is the first step today that takes me one step closer to what it is that I want to have in my life, what it is that I'd like to see manifest in my life? And the brain is a really amazing thing. It will do its job is to answer quest. Part of its job anyway is to answer questions that you ask it consciously. And so if you say, hey, why can't I find my soulmate, it will go and it will search its entire database and it will come up with the answers of why you can't find your soulmate. And then it'll serve it up to your conscious mind for it to make sense of, right? When you look at that information, is that going to make you happy? Is that going to change things around? No, right? If, if your brain answers the question, why can't you find your soulmate, and it gives you the answers and you read those answers, pretend it came in a book or a letter, it's not going to make you feel good at all. Right? Right. As a matter of fact, right? It's going to say, well, you're too fat, you're too, you know, it'll give you all right. these really negative things. So what you do is you get yourself in a habit of asking questions that you really want to know the answers to. There's a thing I used to say, only ask questions that you want to know the answers to. That's a pretty good general rule, isn't it? Mm. I love that. Only That's ask, amazing. Everybody, everybody write that down. That's incredible if you really let that sink in. Yeah. So when you're talking to yourself, and this applies to other people, but mainly to yourself, right? Right. So we can direct what goes on with other people with questions as well. But mainly to yourself, only ask those questions that you really want answered. Hmm. And so you say, well, what can I do differently that will attract my soulmate? Your brain will go searching and searching. It'll connect with its higher self. It'll do this trans-derivational search and it'll pull up all this data and it'll go, this is what you can do right now, right? And it takes a little bit of practice. Okay. To, right? Just to get that information to be conscious of it, but it'll be there. And so you get in that habit of answering questions like that and you can dramatically shift the way you feel and the frequency of your thoughts. Now, I put a lot of EEG machines on people's heads and I measure their brain waves. And there is a radical difference in the way the electrical activity looks in the brain when you ask a question like that. So if you ask a question, why is, it, why is this always happening to me? Why can't I seem to get a break? And then we take a look at the brain wave activity and we see that it is nowhere within the range of any of these five tri transformational Frequency. Right. Okay. And then we, uh, we ask a question, well, what is it that I can do to bring more happiness into my life today? Ah, then we can actually see the physical change in the electrical activity in the brain. It, it, this is crucial for people to really bring into their hearts and make it a habit every day. Only ask questions you, you want answered to. Hmm. I love that. Okay, so that's something we can start doing right now. And and so is it and, and here's an interesting question. Let's say we catch ourselves doing the why does this always happen to me or why can't I catch a break or whatever? So we just catch ourselves in the middle of that and then shift the question. Is that kind of what you're saying? Absolutely. Most people will start that way. They'll you know, there's people out there that heard this and say, Hey, only ask questions that I want the answers to. <laughs> and they'll go, Yes, I'm gonna do this. 
And then right. five minutes later, <laughs> they'll go, you know, something might happen in their world and they'll ask this negative question. Well, that's okay. Don't be hard on yourself. It's never, it's never about that. But okay. as soon as you hear that negative question, let that be the trigger, mm. right? To say, okay, let me shift that around. How can I say that differently that will start me focused on the right path? Interesting. I love that. And what a, what a great way of, of just sh- sort of gently shifting ourselves. Um, now, here's something interesting that I really want to hear what you have to say about, because a lot of times we are taught, you know, have a singular focus, focus on one goal or one desire at a time. And you actually say that that slows down the manifestation process. So can you explain more about that? Yeah. You know, this is a little counterintuitive to what most people yeah. are taught, but my experience with all the clients that I've worked and understand I'm approaching my mid forties and I actually saw my first client when I was 15. Wow. I've been doing this for, I have a lot of experience to draw upon for my age. And what I have found is this, and it, it comes back to these five transformational frequencies. See, it's, it's okay to have a primary goal, right? You know, things you know, if somebody lost their job and money's tight and they really are struggling to put food on the table, we understand that that's a primary goal, right? And it's okay mm-hmm. to have that. It's okay to have that. But what gives us the ability to manifest and really begin to create the life we want to live comes from all five of these transformational frequencies and states of being, okay? And so you have to make time to bring in those vibrations that take care of your brain and those other vibrations. Happiness, for instance, is one of the major driving forces of manifestation. And if it is not there in your brain, if your brain is not vibrating within those frequency ranges, you're not producing certain brain chemicals. And what happens is that the brain begins to restrict, uh, the energy in the brain begins to restrict away from the prefrontal cortex. The blood flow also begins to restrict away from the prefrontal cortex. Okay, so now I'm going into a real scientific side of it, right? Because mm-hmm. it does have two sides. It has the spiritual energetic side and it has the scientific side. It's what makes it so beautiful. And when that blood flow constricts away from the prefrontal cortex and the energy is balled up and twirling around because of all the stress and the lack of happiness, well, guess what? You can't use your prefrontal cortex the way it's meant to be used. And what that means is you're not making the best possible decisions. Right. See, your life up to what it is right now is a culmination of a lot of things, but especially the decisions you make day to day, even the real small ones, they add up over time. Right. So even though you've got this primary goal, you have to make happiness a goal, a priority in your life. You have to do things that stimulate that activity in your brain. Health has got to be part of that, too. And if you're older, if you're over the age of 40, this is when something really amazing kicks in. Okay, the desire, the need, the necessity for peace and harmony goes up like a hockey stick, <laughs> you know, like, the, like, like a stock market almost on a hockey stick, but straight up, the older you get. Hmm. And if you deny that peace and harmony energy and you deny yourself those activities that influence that, you're going to have problems. You have a lot of problems, right? So no matter how bad things are, right, one of the best things that you can do is always to set tiny goals. Like I said, you can have those primary goals, but you set some time, whether it be a minute, five minutes, 10 minutes a day to cultivate those other areas of your life. Otherwise, you're going to be in big trouble. And you know what? There's scientific research to back this up. There was a group that did this big study that said when people are stuck, when people's lives are really, really messy, right, and, and they just can't seem to go anywhere. It's just like wheels in mud spinning and spinning and spinning, and it's throwing up all this messiness all over the place, right? What they found is that they're typically stuck on one goal or one area of their life, and they're just trying to push, 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 mm. but everything else is being ignored. And as soon as they start to pull attention just a little bit attention away from that and put a little bit to the health a little bit to the peace a little bit to the happiness what they find is people get unstuck in real short order it happens fast and they will start to succeed at twice the rate wow that they, that makes sense right so this is so it's not that it's not that you shouldn't have 
just one goal. I mean, it, it is. You have to have several goals that all satisfy these five transformational frequencies in your life. Right, because trans and listen to the words transformational frequencies. If you want to change and move and grow from where you are right now, this is where all that energy comes from. And if you ignore one or the other, there's going to be problems. Hmm. Interesting. So that's something that can you just quickly relist those five frequencies of transformation again, just so that we can all now that you've gotten into this more, now we can go. Oh, interesting. So could you just list those out again for us? Absolutely. It's happiness. Okay. okay. Prosperity and abundance. Okay. Peace and harmony. Health and vitality. Love and enlightenment. Interesting. Okay. So, for example, let's say we are just pushing and putting in. I know this is a lot of people, so this is why I'm bringing this up. We just feel like we've hit a ceiling with our finances and we are pushing and pushing and struggling and struggling and struggling. Tell me if I'm hearing you correctly with what you were just saying. Often, what's happened is we let all of the other four areas go. We're just focusing on like trying to force our prosperity. So, if we take some of our attention and you know, focus on love or on our enlightenment and connection to spirit and all of that, that would help unstick us. Is that, am I hearing you right? That's absolutely the truth. And, and not only that, it's, it's been researched. This actually happens. And, you know, when you're stuck having a little bit of success in any one of these five areas, right, it activates some momentum as well. Success is contagious, Right. right as well it is contagious it is. and once you once you start succeeding in one of these areas everything gets pulled up right the the key is 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 to be in a balance that's right for you in the stage of life that you're in like i said the peace and harmony one not a big deal for the 18 year old <laughs> the 20 year old they, right. they they can deal really great with chaos it's still this i have a little bit of it Right, right, but not, but it, when we get past our forties and our fifties, right, we start looking around and going, "Heck, I hit that ceiling." Mm. What you have to do is start to look at your life and go, "What is the level of happiness that I'm experiencing day to day in my life?" And score it on, you know, one to ten, zero to ten, right? Score it that way, and then ask yourself, "What is the level of prosperity and abundance that I'm experiencing in my life?" And some people will all say, "That's easy, nothing." Right. Well, but remember, right. prosperity and abundance is not about money and gold per se. It's a way of being. It's creation energy. Mm. So to what level am I creating in my life? To what level is my state of being that of prosperity and abundance? And then you ask yourself, what is the level of peace and harmony? And this is where when people are talking about prosperity and abundance, we'll usually get that answer of like one, right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> zero. I'm, you know, I'm so focused on my prosperity that peace, what's that? I'll have peace and harmony when my prosperity comes, right? Yeah. Right? But it, does, it doesn't work like that. You have to have that energy in the mix in order for your true ability to manifest and create the life you want to live to work, right? And then you ask, what is the state of my enlightenment, my love, my social consciousness in my life and score it zero to 10. And what you're going to see is a, a little graph here and connect them with lines if you like, you know, and you're going to see a little graph and you know, what's going on emotionally in your life. And you're going to be able to see where you need to add a little bit more attention. Hmm. And by doing so, you are going to free your brain. See, because if you're missing happiness, if you're missing, especially happiness, I mean, I harp on this one a lot, but it is from, the, from day one to the day you die, this is really powerful force for manifestation in your life. And so uh, there's, there's two areas, actually, for prosperity and abundance. And people have reached their financial floor or ceiling, rather. Some people hit the floor with it, but they've hit their <laughs> ceiling, <laughs> right? Um, two things that I find more often than anything else. They have to balance their happiness with the prosperity and abundance energy, or they have to balance their peace and harmony with the prosperity and abundance energy, or all three. And it'll be a little bit different depending on the age group. But someone in their 50s, I'd really strongly look at the peace and harmony 
as well to balance that out. And as soon as you start to add a little bit more in that into the mix, you're going to see a huge change because it affects the way your brain works mm. right? at, at a very core level. See, whenever you ignore one of these needs, and they are needs, right, that your brain will stop working as the way it should. It causes this internal stress. And I see this all too often. The blood flow pulls away and gets centered into one side or the other, and the energy gets all balled up, and it starts to spin, and, and you don't have balance in the way that you think. Wow. Okay. So, so we really like balance is one of those things. I think people hear the word balance a lot and they go, yeah, it's absolutely important. I can't wait till one day when I have balance, but balance from what you're saying, and I do actually firmly believe this, um, really is absolutely essential to excelling in every area of your life. Is that correct? Absolutely. The ability to manifest, if we just stick there for one second, that isn't just one energy. It's not just one frequency. Right. It is all these frequencies put together. Right? And if it's missing one or the other, or it's way out of balance or the other, it just isn't going to work the way you want it to. And so yeah. we are designed, our brains are designed, and I don't want to make this a neuroscience lesson, but take the word for it. Our brains are designed to experience happiness on a day-to-day -day basis. Our brains are designed to experience creation energy, creational thoughts, moving forward, that movement, that's prosperity and abundance energy. Our brains are designed, okay, to have peace and harmony in our lives. It gets very upset when it doesn't have it, especially as we grow older, right? Health and vitality energy. Even if there's something wrong with your health, you can still get your brain to vibrate that way and you can get your, your you can bring in that energy into your life it needs it. It's very important. And then lastly, love and enlightenment. It has to be there. Again, that one becomes a little bit more important as we grow older as well. Mm. So, so for the people who are, who are listening, who are maybe thinking, oh, I'm, I'm, it's been like this for too long. I see that I'm not in balance. I see that I have only been focusing in one direction. And, uh, you know, I, that can feel in, in like an insurmountable thing. That can feel like it would take way too long to get it back. Does it take a really long time to get back in balance or, you know, how, how quickly can we sort of start to, I hate to use the word right, but you know what I mean, right ourselves and get ourselves balanced? Well, the, the real answer is that it depends. Okay. Right. It really depends on the person and the commitment and what they want to do. But the process of doing it is not very hard to start. It's very easy. And the, and the thing is to focus on the first step, right? Because if we think about, wow, I'm way down here and I got to go way up here, mm. right? It looks, oh my God, it's so, you know, and then all of a sudden the internal language gets bad and, you know, right. it's, I, I can't ever get there. No, don't focus on that. Focus on the next step because the thing that you know deep inside, but you don't feel it when you're in that position is that success builds on uh, success and you get this thing called momentum. And once momentum starts to drive, <laughs> take the wheel in your life, okay, in a particular direction, it becomes easier, right? right. All the obstacles, you can just roll right over, or fly right over, or break right through, whatever your preference, right? You know, once momentum goes and starts to take the wheel, you know, you'll be unstoppable. So focus on those first few steps, and you start with your questions. Yeah, you start with your questions. What is it that I can do today? to increase the level of happiness in my life? Is it to laugh more? Is it a commitment to, to watch a funny movie, right? I mean, you know how many stories and proof and people I've met that have literally cured themselves of a health issue by laughing? Yeah. Right, right? I mean, they're all over the place. I'm reading a book right now. But it's filled with these stories and it's scientifically documented, you know? So one tiny step at a time. And as you start to bring some of that energy in, to your life, your brain is going to function better and it's going to get easier and easier and easier to do over time. And it can happen very quickly. I've seen dramatic turnarounds inside of two weeks. And so there's a plan. If anybody wants to start this, I'll give it to you. It's very easy. Okay. You wake up in the morning, you go to a mirror and you look at yourself and you say, I 
accept all the happiness energy in my world today. But, and you can change the language, right? To what really makes you vibrate, right? Say, I'm receiving, I'm open to receiving all the happiness from the universe that I can handle today. And all day long, on Monday, right, you keep your mind and your words on happiness. And then on Tuesday, you go to prosperity and abundance. I'm open to receiving all the prosperity, abundance, the world, the universe, the spirits have to offer me today. My heart is open and I receive it now, open arms, without question. And I focus my words and my thoughts with creation, prosperity, and abundance energy today. And then on Wednesday, <laughs> we go to peace and harmony. And on Thursday, health and vitality. And then on Friday, we go to energy and enlightenment. And on you know, Saturday, Sunday, do them all. <laughs> I'd say yeah. it all to you. But start off by taking one day and, have, and, and bring that energy into your life. And you will find, if you do that, in two weeks, and you keep a journal, in two weeks, things are going to shift and change in your life. It's going to happen in ways that you cannot possibly begin to expect. Wow. Okay. I love that because that just, and tell me why it's so powerful when we look in the mirror and do that. I know there's actual reasons behind that. It's something that I use a lot with, uh, with people, but tell me why it's so powerful. Well, I think there's a number of reasons why, you know, that it's really meaningful because number one, it's an extra step, right? You have to stay still, right? And look at yeah. yourself in the mirror and right. you have to see yourself say it. Um, on one level, right, uh, from a hip, let's, let's talk about hypnosis for a second. Um, okay. Th there's this thing in hypnosis where the, who is the ultimate authority? Trust, right? And so as a hypnotherapist, if I'm giving somebody suggestions and they do not trust me, it's going to be a problem. They're not going to accept them. Although when I'm giving suggestions and I have their ultimate trust and love, wow, is it easy? I give them a mm. suggestion and bang, they're all over it. I give you a suggestion and you take it in open arms without question and you move in your life. So guess who's the ultimate authority in your life? I am. That's right. You are. <laughs> so, <laughs> right? I got it right. So, yes. Yay. We'll give you a gold star. You know, <laughs> when you're looking in the mirror, right, your subconscious, even if it doesn't feel like it sometimes, some people say, well, I don't trust myself, I don't know. Well, that's because the electricity isn't flowing in the brain properly. This exercise is going to get it flowing in the brain properly. Okay. Right? So, but your subconscious knows that you are the most trusted authority. And so when you're looking in that mirror and you're saying, I am doing this, this is what's happening. This is my reality today. Far more effective because you're looking at your ultimate authority that has ultimate trust, feeding that information right back to you. Mm, I love that. Okay. That's yes, that's very cool. So we can start right now. And I love everything you've given us because we can start right now with the questions. We can start right now with this mirror exercise. Now talk to me about, because you, I mean, you're a master of, of brainwave entrainment. So how does this factor in? How can we use that? Well, this, I mean, this is what I love, you know, I, um, <laughs> that, you know, well, I love it. I love this all, but this is, I am um, recently, I am so very proud of the breakthroughs that, um, I've made that it literally, it's different than what anybody else on the planet is doing or may have even thought of that. It, it it's just so amazing. I, I hope and I have so much excitement about it that, you know, I hope I can contain myself to explain it clearly, but here it is. A lot of people know what brainwave entrainment is, right? It's that mm -hmm. thing where you hear sounds and frequencies and it encourages your brain to vibrate at a particular right rate and speed. A lot of benefits to entrainment. A lot of benefits to entrainment. Um, the funny thing is about it, though, is that if you look through all the clinical peer-reviewed research out there that talks about the effectiveness of the technology, they don't often talk about entrainment. They talk about stimulation. Right. Re Okay, because all the research says that, you know, here's a great one. This was done in, in schools in central USA. They gave students with ADHD 35 minutes of gamma stimulation twice a week, and then they gave them what's, I think it's the WISC 
three, which measures you know all kinds of uh, scales of intelligence, right? Before and then after. After six weeks, the average improvement was thirty three percent. Wow. Right. Right. Two. And that's two just twice 30, a week. Yeah, two thirty five minutes of gamma stimulation twice a week. Wow. Okay, which by the way falls into the in, enlightenment um, transformational frequency range. By the way, so they were in train. They weren't doing entrainment. If you measured these kids brain waves, they weren't matching and following the gamma frequencies. They were just simply receiving them. Mm -hmm. And as a result, their brain made the shifts and changes that it needed to in order to respond. See, when you give a brain a certain range of frequencies that falls within its normal range of functioning, the brain has no other choice but to respond. No other choice. Okay. It can potentiate to them if, if you do it poorly, but which means it kind of starts to ignore them if it's the same over time. But if you do it properly, the brain will have no other choice but to respond. It's that act of responding that creates the change, that creates the difference. And every person will respond differently to that stimulation, okay? Because the brain knows how to heal. So it'll respond, and that act of responding builds neural pathways and starts to you know, do all the things that it needs to do to heal itself within that frequency range. No entrainment required. Wow. So... Once I discovered this, I went, well, wait a second. Well, if we don't have to worry about getting a frequency following response, this is what entrainment is, then what else, you know, what could we do, right? What else could we do? And so I started paying attention about what really makes stimulation work. What are the core factors that make stimulation work in the brain? Well, the answer is one of them is this. It causes cross-hemispheric communication back and forth between the brain, especially the audio, okay. okay? And what I discovered is this. If you really understand how the brain works, the auditory organs are very different, let's say, than the visual organs. It's a periphery organ. It takes in stimulation 360 degrees up and down all the time. It never stops, okay? And so it's hardwired. The auditory system in the brain is hardwired to pay attention to automatically certain types of frequencies. And guess what they are? They're frequencies associated in the pitch ranges of natural human language. Hardwired in the auditory system in the brain from birth is this thing to pick up and process frequency ranges that are associated with natural language. But if I take in stimulation frequencies and I put it in frequency ranges that are associated with natural human language, I, ah, <laughs> now I'm playing in to the strength of the brain, which every person's brain is hardwired from birth to pay attention to. Wow. Okay. Then I start moving them in three-dimensional spaces around the head. This increases the amount of cross-hemispheric communication. And why is cross-hemispheric communication really important? Well, like I said, bad emotions, no matter what they are, constrict blood away from the prefrontal cortex, and this bad emotion will cause energy to ball up and stay stuck in a little area of the brain, either one side or the other, right? So as soon as we start to encourage cross-hemisphere communication, what happens is that ball of energy that's stuck there begins to unwind, right? And it starts to spread out, and it starts to go from this hemisphere to that hemisphere, and then it starts, the blood flow starts to expand throughout the brain. This is one of the most important factors of brainwave stimulation, yet most people never think to maximize it. And so this is one of the breakthroughs that I've created with one of my technologies. The other one is actually with the visual system, okay? So if you think about this, the most important thing in our visual system, the, the visual system projects roughly into about 40% of the cortex in the brain. And that's a big chunk. And a lot of it is hardwired from birth to pay attention to shapes and contours and depth. See, because that's how we get face recognition and that's how we get to move through the world without bumping into stuff. Right. <laughs> that's how the brain's hardwired. So I started to ask the question, what would happen if we took geometrical shapes and then inside those geometrical shapes that move, that also have depth, we started to insert those flashing, those, those flashes, those, those brainwave stimulation frequencies. Would we get a stronger cortical evoked response? And the answer is yes. So all this, these, these new ways of using this technology, I call passive brain fitness, right? Because it stimulates the brain so fast and so well. So within 10 minutes, you can take a piece of passive brain fitness technology, throw a set of headphones on, and load 
a set of frequency ranges that cause the brain to vibrate with those frequencies in, in the happiness transformational range. And you can get it done in 10 minutes. That's how powerful this is. So that's one of the ways that people can use technology is that they can use brainwave stimulation to stimulate the happiness range, which is you know, alpha and, and, and beta. They can help stimulate the prosperity and abundance range, which falls in a little bit of the alpha and, and, some, of the, and some of the theta. And then they can do the peace and harmony range, which is a little deeper into the theta and some delta and the health and vitality, which is a little bit of delta and some sub delta. And then in the love and enlightenment range, which is all high beta and gamma, right? Mm. Beautiful. And then in using this technology, you can get it done much better, faster than ever before. Yeah, that's what I love, and and that's what I love about this. I mean, I, I first of all, the the different things that you gave us on the call already, with the questions and with, um, you know, us looking in the mirror and doing that's all essential as well. I would think. I think no matter what, you should really consider doing that and starting to do those things today, just because there's a lot of momentum and positive momentum to be gained by doing those. But I love that that you have something here that can, you know, speed it up and can um, make it where we're not having to figure it all out. I love that. Now, can you, do you have any success stories you can share with us just so that we're able to see what's possible, you know, for the people who have applied what, what you're doing here? Yeah, I have uh, so many success stories. They come in on a daily basis, but I want to give you one that's really close to home okay. for me. And this just happened. See, these breakthroughs in technology that I've developed, it's really been over the last couple months. And I've had a lot of motivation to really make these breakthroughs to help people bring in more peace, prosperity, happiness, and health, and love and enlightenment in their life. And one of the major reasons was my mother, who helped me so much as a child. And for the last three years, she has suffered with a general fear and anxiety mm. that um, was so terrible. And, and listen, despite having access to the best psychologist, the best brainwave stimulation in the world, <laughs> you know, if I don't say so myself, um, <laughs> and I mean, the list goes on. She's tried every modality and the amount of money that she spent, I mean, is, uh, she wouldn't even tell me, but the fact that she wouldn't tell me makes mm. me believe it's got to be approaching six figures. So nothing has worked. And I don't mean to bash any of those modalities. I don't at all. I use them all in my private practice and I get a lot of great success. I mean, I'm never tied to one modality. I can shift and change depending on what I need, right? So it's not about that. But for her, nothing worked. And so I started, we started talking about, well, what are these five transformational frequencies? Well, they're all very low in her, all very low. But she had, she had gotten so far gone that she couldn't, get herself to do the things that she had to do to create those little moments in her life to build that back up. The mind was very, very tired. So I wanted to create a technology that would really amp this up and just literally get that brain vibrating at that rate and speed. And so this was the big motivation for creating passive brain fitness technology. And so this weekend, she was in my house. They live, my parents live very, live very far away from me, so I don't see them nearly as much as I'd love to. But they came down. I told them, I said, you got to come down. You got to come down. And so I strapped EEGs, and I got all this on film too, by the way. I'm going to release this at some point. And what we saw was amazing. This technology transformed her brain right in front of our eyes, right? And then we saw her laugh. And then we saw her, you know, she, she was more energetic, more so than she's been in years and years and years. And then what we did is we saw if we could bring, we tested to see if we could bring some negativity and some of these really low vibrations and get her brain to go backwards. And it was harder for her to do it just mm. after one 10 minute session. Right? And now she's been using it every day, getting better and better and better and better. So this, that's one amazing transformational story. But I mean, I have hundreds and hundreds. There's, um, there's people that have not spoken a word for 11 years and all of a sudden turns on. The electricity wow. balances out in the brain. This, this was an incredible story. We've had uh, people that have written in and say, I've experienced more prosperity in terms of actual money in three months than I have in the last two years. 
so the the transformational stories that come with this program have been really amazing and some of them have been outside of the what I would say would be what they're scientifically designed to do and there's a specific reason for that that um, I haven't really started talking about until recently and what's that <laughs> well I'll, I'll bring this up with this one the particular program I'm talking about is called life response frequencies and when I started to, to create it I was gonna call it something different and okay and I really liked the name I had for it <laughs> You know, and uh, I was really stuck to it. And then as I'm working, I'm, I get this feeling in my head that says, that's a company with a voice, call it life response frequencies. It was very odd for me to have that experience. And I just ignored it. And then it continued to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And what happened is that it started to wake me up at night. And it started oh. to create stress and anxiety in me because it got so very strong. And then one of my mentors and lovely friends in my life, I'm so blessed to have her in life, her name is Elizabeth. Um, she is one of the most naturally gifted psychic people I have ever met. Uh, the second one would be Norma, and I'll talk to you about her in a minute. We have, she, she taught me uh, NLP um, you know, for my master practitioners, but she's, she's a very, very special woman. And we're connected in such a way that whenever, whenever something is going really wrong or causing a lot uh -huh. of stress and anxiety, my phone rings, <laughs> <laughs> you know, or an email blips in and it goes, and, and, and so the phone rings and Elizabeth is there and she says, so Jeff, what's up? <laughs> and that's a, and, a, and right on cue, you know? And so I hesitated to tell her about this because for a really important reason, one of her mentors, Norma, had a project that I worked on actually with an old company that I had called Life Response. And this was a sacred project. She said that her guide group, her angels, however you want to say it, their job was to bring in happiness, peace, prosperity, and health energy through this project called Life Response. And, you know, it was a very sacred project. I helped bring it to market. And I couldn't make any changes to that project. I couldn't do anything without ex explicit permission from Norma. But then the came, and, and I watched, and it, this was just a computer interface that people would log into and they'd hit a couple buttons and, you know, that would be it. And it was supposed to balance and increase all the peace, prosperity, happiness, and health energy. And I didn't really believe it at the time, but as I saw it come to market and as I got to see what happened to people as they started to, to, to use it, I became a huge believer. I mean, literally miracles in, in front of my eyes. But then she retired. Her guide group told her, to, that's it, you're retiring. And it was shut down. And years later, I had this feeling to call this life response. And, and Elizabeth, who's a dear friend of her, calls me and says, what's going on? And I told Elizabeth what was going on and how I didn't want to do it, but it was causing me all kinds of stress. And she paused. And she said... They said, yes. I'm like, who said yes? <laughs> she said, the guy group, <laughs> the energy. They, yeah. and, 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 I, and at the time, I'm not used to talking about stuff like this. I mean, I'm a pretty scientific person most of the time. And, you know, I, I run in those circles. And she said, absolutely. The guy group said they now want to use this project to bring in peace, prosperity, happiness, and health energy. They're going to use it huh. as a vessel to bring this energy in and help balance it and increase it to whoever listens to it. And I was, I, I didn't know what to say, you know, I was like, are you sure? <laughs> why, you know, but why me? I had this, I had a series of bad questions at that point in time. The Lord right. Just kind of gave me that look and said, what are you asking? Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> you know, changed my questions and I, and I, and I, I come to accept it. And so I created the project. I called it life response frequencies. And I, and I released it. And some of the feedback that came in, again, I know what the limits of the technology is, right? Mm -hmm. From a scientific standpoint, I know what the limits are. And there are some things that it just shouldn't be able to do. But some of the testimonials and the feedback that have come in, the only way I can explain it is that there truly is an additional energetic support coming through this project. Wow. 
That's so cool. And actually, uh, the exciting news, everyone, is that Jeff actually put together a special offer. And what I love about this, and I'll let you talk about it, Jeff, is that it, it really takes you through. It breaks it down for you. It breaks down each of the five frequencies for you. So you're not like, ah, I don't know which am I, what am I doing? So it, it really, like, uh, it's very user-friendly. So this is this is so cool. This is a really amazing thing that he's put together. And you definitely want to go check it out. I highly recommend it. So click on the special offer button that's on this page, and it will take you right there. I highly encourage you to go there now so that you can hear Jeff talk you through uh, what's there. This is really just a fantastic thing that he's put together for us. So Jeff, if you could take us through it, that would be great. Certainly. So there's five modules and you already know what they are. <laughs> if you've been with us on the whole call, uh, module one is called happiness essentials. And what this is designed to do is to stimulate those frequency ranges in the brain that are associated with producing really positive feel-good neurochemicals. And again, also balancing out the electrical activity in the brain. And a lot of those, those stimulatory frequencies fall within the alpha and beta range. And from a scientific point of view, this range is considered a super learning state. It has all kinds of benefits for your ability to remember things, to it bridges the gap between your subconscious and conscious resources. It's a wonderful thing and it helps you vibrate with that happiness transformational energy. And what's new about this is that this has been out for a couple of years. However, with the new technological breakthroughs that I've created, it now comes with passive brain fitness video power session. So uh, Happiness Essentials has a video power, power session that what you do is you put your headphones on and you just watch this video for 10 minutes. It'll work out your brain to prime it for this transformational frequencies faster than anything you've ever experienced before. Module two is Prosperity and Abundance Essentials. Same thing. This is geared to help you create bring in the prosperity and abundance energy, the, the, the creation energy into your life. And again, it also comes with a passive brain fitness video as well that helps you get it done really quickly. And these will run on, uh, on some smartphones as well, so they become really portable. But it, if not, you still have the audios, which are incredibly effective, that still carry all that energetic uh, support as well. And this is essential for people that are lacking that, that creation vibration in their life that may find them stuck in you know, their financial situation right now. Module three is peace and harmony essentials. And this one also is incredibly important for people that find them stuck in that financial situation. Because what I found very often is that the peace and harmony is oftentimes way out of balance with the prosperity and abundance energy. You have to bring this energy in. And um, each one of these modules, by the way, has you know, a 10 minute audio version, a 20 minute audio version, a 40 minute audio version, and a passive brain fitness video as well that helps you really just bring it home and anchor it in. Module four is health and vitality essentials. Again, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This, people say that this is one of the more beautiful uh, brainwave stimulation uh, products on the market today, period. It really helps to stimulate the brain and those frequency ranges that are associated with health and vitality. The, one of the things that we have to understand as we grow older, usually people don't get into a certain range of sleep as well as they used to, and that's the delta and sub-delta range. This helps stimulate the sub-delta and delta range, which unwinds the limbic system, which really helps you take care of things like information, inflammation. And, uh, a lot of scientists are saying right now the vast majority of diseases are all associated at, at its very core with inflammation. It's a beautiful level. And then module five, and that is energy and enlightenment essentials, which is also energy and love essentials. And this is such a powerful vibration. It stimulates the brain in a higher order thinking, but also stimulates the brain to increase its overall speed. What happens is that when you listen to a 10 minute version of the audio and especially the passive brain fitness video that comes with it, anything that you do that requires to use your brain in an analytic or creative way will 
be, uh, your brain will do better. It'll increase substantially. What I have people do to test out the technology a lot of the time is I'll say, okay, pick a time where you've got a meeting or something really important that you need to do, right? And drop this passive brain fitness video in or this odd 10 minute audio in and then do whatever it is you need to do and tell me how much your performance has increased. And what we find is that the vast majority of people, even after the very first time they've brought this into their life, their mental performance increases. Absolutely amazing. And so that is the Life Response Frequencies program. It's, it's a, it, there's so much material there. In the background with the course, there's, um, there's videos that explain how to use the technology, how, different exercises that you can use to, to bring in more of each of those transformational energies into your life. So there's a lot of education for this product. So there's no confusion how to use it. We have extensive documentation. There's a 34 page manual that say, here are the different ways that you can use it to improve the quality of your life. There's so many applications that people can use to enhance their lives with everything that comes in this package. Wow. That's amazing. I love that you really um, you do. You you take everybody through it, and if there are questions, you're going to be there. And you know, it's just an amazing thing. Now, let me ask you this: when uh, when we start using this, what are some of the things that we could expect to start experiencing pretty quickly, like right away? One of the things you could expect is to have elevated mood, right? Like right away, within the first few days, if you use one track or one passive brain fitness video each and every day you will start your, your overall mood, your overall level of happiness and all uh, your experience with all these transformational frequencies will go up. It'll st- you'll start to notice it within the first few days. And when those things go up, when your brain, when the blood flow starts to, to circulate in the brain as it should, as the electrical activity starts to balance out and move about as it should, the quality of decisions that you, can, you make in your life are going to improve substantially. So whatever it is that you do in life, whatever it is that you're focusing on right now, your ability to get it done is going to get better. And I always suggest that people journal this because sometimes it starts off subtly, but it builds really quickly. And, it's, and people that do journal look at that journal a month later and go, wow, you know, I really did make a ton of progress. And you know the other reason why journaling is good? There's research that shows that people that when they're looking to improve their lives and they chart their progress, they succeed twice as much as people that don't. Huh. There's research that shows that. And so, I mean, yeah, the product is incredibly awesome, but yeah, I mean, get do 50% better just by spending five minutes and writing some things down. That's a no brainer. Right? That's why I, I encourage it so strongly. Like, you, you'll see transformations in your life in the areas you need it the most. Right. And what I suggest people do is, you know, do that graph that I talked about. Right. Your, what's your level of happiness? Zero to ten. What's your level of prosperity and abundance? Zero to ten. What's your level? And go through all five major transformational frequencies and then go to this program and begin using more of the technology to balance those things out. So everybody's going to be naturally attracted to one module or another at some point in time. But I encourage people to use every single module. But some people will say, you know what, that peace and harmony module, when I listen to that, wow. So after you finish, you know, looking at those areas where you really need to bring up, you know, you'll naturally be attracted to one module more than another. And that will change, you know, month to month, year to year. This is a program that stays with you all your life, that you can gain benefit from no matter where you are in life. And I just ask that you be open to that and go with it. I mean, explore them all, but one will really draw you in. And so which one, whatever one really draws you in, give that one a little bit more time. And as you do that, you will find some really great transformational experiences are going to come to you in your life. Yeah, I know they will. I mean, this is just fantastic. I love how you've broken it down. I, I really love how you've put all of this together and everything you do. I just, 
uh, believe in completely. So you can just click that special offer button that's on this page. We've made it nice and simple for you. You'll be taken right there. Jeff, that's it. We've, we've, uh, you, I've even kept you more time than, than uh, I had said I would, so I appreciate you hanging in there with us. You gave us so much that we can do on this call. You, you, what I love, too, is that you don't just sort of talk about stuff. You really back it up with, with the science behind it, and that's, that's so helpful. So I really want to thank you for all of that. Do you have any final words that you want to leave us with today? Yeah, I do. This is something that I've really been focusing on because I've had a few people approach me with it and have come to me and said that they felt that their life didn't have meaning, that they felt that they were irrelevant. And they, they felt they really didn't have a purpose. To me, that's one of the more tragic feelings anyone can have. And so I want to say this, if there's anybody out there that feels like that, I want you to understand that that is the furthest thing from the truth. Every single one of you is needed right here, right now, where you are. And it's just a matter of finding what you're meant to do and how you can get that meaning and relevance, you know, despite what your senses tell you, you know, sometimes your senses will tell you that, Hey, you know, I'm worthless. I'm, you know, I'm no good. I don't do anything helpful to anybody. Well, it's time to look if you feel that way. And one of the easiest things that you can do right now is to look for ways to help people you don't know and people you do know. Random acts of kindness it is a very quick way to ramp up one of the more powerful transformational frequencies in your life, and that is the happiness and also the love and enlightenment transformational frequency. Because when you start to go out and you do something a little above and beyond for somebody else, and you look at that person that you've helped you will see your importance and your relevance. And science show that will increase your level of happiness in your life. Mm. And this, this could be a, a really great way to jumpstart the whole process and get started today because we need everybody that we can to do more of this work in this world. Mm, I love that. That's, it's fantastic. And it's so true. And everyone listening, you are all extraordinary. You are all, what Jeff just said is so true. The world needs all of you. Um, so thank you for being here and contributing as much of you as you can. And the more you can do that, uh, you know, I just want to thank you on behalf of the world. I, and I know that sounds uh, grandiose, but I actually truly believe that. It sounds like you do too as well, Jeff. So that's why I love having you here. <laughs> thank you, Kristen. Uh, anytime. And yeah, I mean, thank you so much for what you delivered on this call. I mean, you're the perfect example of, you know, acts of kindness and pay it forward. And, you know, you gave us so much we can do. And I just, I can't thank you enough. You are so genuine and um, you're just, you're a really great energy to be around. And I, I just want you to know how much I appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much. That really means a lot to me, Kristen. And hopefully we'll get to do this again. And until the next time, everyone, um, keep manifesting. Thanks all. Bye-bye.